by Don Casa. Uh, Avalanche and missing. The next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 440 pounds, the Nebraska farm boy, ex-football player, the Avalanche. His arch enemy in this corner, 260 pounds, Louisiana, Mike Miller. Now, Assassin, tell us what happened to the headgear. Well, you understand, Avalanche gave me one of the toughest matches I've had in my wrestling career Tuesday night here. But as you can see, when it was all over with, I yanked that headgear right off his head, you understand? Like I promised the people of the Pacific Northwest. But I got to admit one thing, Don Cos, like I said, this Avalanche is not to be taken lightly, but you can tell that by looking at him. But he is a triple tough individual. You bet he is. No, he's going to be taken very heavily. About 450 pounds worth. Yeah, I almost forgot what he looked like under that headgear. That was all part of Tuesday night. And, you know, another thing is happening tonight that, uh, again, Who's the lead uh, yeah, yeah, apparently uh, it, will, it will not be on TV. That's the loser leave town, Rip Oliver and American Ninja. Yes, sir. Rip the Cripple Oliver uh, putting his whole reputation on the line. The American Ninja putting his whole reputation on the line. The people that did not come to the Portland Sports Arena will not be seeing this match tonight. So it, it's, uh, it's uh, again, you should be at the Portland Sports Arena every Saturday night because you never know what match ain't going to be on TV. Now look tonight. Loser Leave Town, American Ninja versus Rip the Cripple Oliver. Whew, that's going to be a hard one to predict, too. <laughs> All right, now, Avalanche is kind of losing his cool in there. Here comes Miller. Here's the windup. Is there going to be a pitch? No. Yeah. Mean Mike Miller. Mean Mike Miller showing the determination. Showing the determination that he has to meet the grappler for the Pacific Northwest heavyweight title next Saturday night. Meet Mike Miller. Has got to get by Avalanche tonight. But uh, he's got that look of determination in his eyes. The same way the grappler has that look of determination of uh, saying that he would be the AWA Wells Heavyweight Champion after March 5th. All right now, Avalanche getting outside onto the apron of the ring and taking the uh, count of Sandy Barr. While Miller just, just waits in there for him. This is our main event. No, it isn't our main event. No, sir. This is not our main What? Hey, every one of these things is the main event, Th Assassin. That's, that's right. From the first match to the last match, has been a main event tonight, you understand? What were those two things that came running in, those destroyer things, man? Uh, uh, it's a good thing Billy Two Eagles was there to save Coco Samoa, you understand? Mike Miller, what a punch on Avalanche. Oh, man. Whoa. Man, you see, he climbed that mountain. One, two, almost a three count, you understand? Hey, Don Kosh, look at all the things going on tonight. We still have the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champions, Steve Dahl and Scott Peterson, coming on next against Moondog Moretti. Yeah, and uh, Avalanche. Well, we don't know who's... You said before, this whole thing is unpredictable. We don't know who's going to be there. It is all unpredictable, you understand? Finest... KPTV Channel 12, Orange Promotion, bringing you the finest of professional wrestling, Jack, every Saturday night. You know, it wouldn't surprise me still if maybe somebody didn't pull some strings to get that Oliver and uh, Ninja match on television. You just stick with us. Stay with us for well, the rest of the program. And let's see what happens. Coco Samoa is up here right now. I just have a talk with Don Owen. I just have a talk with Don Owen next Saturday. These two idiots, we're going to face them I mean, with me and uh, Pity Two Eco next Saturday, brother. So, uh, Coco, do we even know who these guys are? I don't care who it is. I know it's Super Destroyer number one. And the other guy, I don't know. I just say it's Destroyer number two. Then I want to tell you that. I want to tell you something, Dan. Next Saturday, I'm going to fight my cats off, brother. You better believe it. You hey, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we, have, now we have the Pacific Northwest heavyweight title on the line next Saturday night. 
Also, we have Coco Samoa and Billy Two Eagles against Destroyer Number One, and what apparently uh, 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 appears to be Destroyer Number Two. All this next Saturday at the Portland Sports Arena. Man, oh man, this place is not going to be anything left of this place next Saturday night. Right now, Mike Miller trying to uh, make sure there's nothing left of uh, Avalanche. Oh, that's that's a pretty uh, pretty heavy job right there. Man, next Saturday night we've got we got the title match, Frappler and uh, and Miller, and now we got a tag match, Coco teaming up with Billy Two Eagles to go against whatever those goons the destroyers, were. Destroyers, destroyer one and two. The destroyers. Did yeah. you see the, the Did you see the look and determination in Coco Samoa's eyes, brother? That Samoan is on fire. It's going to be like Mount St. Helens erupting again here next Saturday. Yeah, except it's going to be a Samoan volcano. You got it, Don Cos. Mike Miller stalking uh, Avalanche right now, moving in on him, grabbing him the top of the head. And nail oh, man, Avalanche comes back with a powerful shot. Another one right upside the head, and that stunned Miller. Miller's against the uh, turnbuckle. Oh, man. Look at those three hard, powerful shots by Avalanche. Oh, Mike Miller coming back strong, brother. But there goes that Avalanche raking those eyes. You understand? This Avalanche is, uh, like I said, triple tough, brother. Uh, uh, played uh, ex-professional football player, now professional wrestler. Brother, did you see that clothesline? And he really clotheslined Mike Miller. Miller is, is definitely in trouble right now. This is a one-fall match. Avalanche and Mike Miller. Our main event is next. And we'll all find out what that's going to be in just a little bit. Listen to the crowd. Yeah, we people getting behind me, Mike Miller. Hey, I'm telling you, the excitement throughout the Pacific Northwest in professional wrestling has never been so electrifying. And man, I never seen it so electrifying. You understand? Uh, March 5th, like I said, world title held up. AWA world title held up. Grappler and Kurt Henning. Who will be the champion? It all remains to be seen on March 5th. Then next Saturday night, Mean Mike Miller against the grappler Pacific Northwest title on the line. Determination again. Mean Mike Miller's got it. And here it comes, Miller. Oh, man. He just leveled the avalanche. He just laid a landslide on the avalanche. Mike Miller now uh, uh, pulling through here. Let's see what he does. Oh, what a close. Oh. And avalanche is down. Now, he was just clothesline, Miller style. And now Mike Miller just bearing those fists into the stomach of Avalanche, taking the wind right out of him. Now he's working on the head, the forehead. Sandy Barr trying to keep him uh, putting, uh, keep him back. And uh, I don't know. I don't think they're, you're not going to get anywhere with those two guys where they're going at each other right now. Avalanche coming back with another hard forearm smash right across the top of the head. Now, wait a minute. What's Avalanche got? He's got something in his hand. He, he's got some brass knuckles in his hand. He's got brass knuckles in his hands, oh, Assassin. Oh, no. But Miller, wait a minute. Miller got him one. Oh, he can't. One, two. No, no, no. Avalanche is getting those shoulders up there. Avalanche is, is a doggone big. He can't keep his what? shoulders down. What is that? Those are brass knucks. The uh, uh, Avalanche had him, and now Miller's got him. Oh, no. What's going to happen here? Mike Miller has got those brass knuckles that Avalanche... Uh, found. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. One, two, three. It. Mike Miller got him. He got it. Absolutely. He, he put the fear of brass knuckles in him. And the match belongs to Mike Miller. Yes, sir. Over Avalanche. Determination, man. Did you see that? Yeah. The determination of mean Mike Miller. You bet. We'll be back with more after this timeout. <laughs> 